The Minister of Emergency Management was briefed on the effects of the earthquake at Giseni's former ESSA Science Center and Giseni Hospital, where she found that some of the startup medical services had been relocated to Rujerero and Hospital of Ruhengeri and Shira. The minister urged residents whose homes were affected by the earthquake to leave their homes. People within a 200-meter radius from the cracks should evacuate because there is a possibility of them widening or getting deeper. The first thing will be to continue to help them in the ways we can, to make sure that they are in good health, to ensure that where they are staying is in good condition. The analysis of the situation shall continue. As for people who need materials or food, we are able to assist. The official also visited more than 650 Congolese refugees from Nirangogo, territory who fled the quake. The refugees housed in Busasamana sector were happy with the reception and expressed their wishes. The officials of Rwanda welcomed us and opened the border. We have settled in well. The only things we are missing are basins to wash our clothes in and clothes for the children. The Minister of Emergency Management has assured that these issues will be discussed with the authorities for a response. We have spoken to the officials in charge about finding a way to help them, case by case. There are some people who are sick. We do have enough food to sustain everybody, so that should not be a problem. In the Rubavu region, more than 1,200 houses, including commercial ones, have been destroyed by the quake following the Nirangongo volcano eruption. Most of the damaged houses were affected due to the cracks in the ground. Employees of the Gas, Mines and Petroleum Agency are closely monitoring the quake. They say that they have been aware of it for some time, but there were never any immediate consequences, only two landslides. We are constantly updating our site with information about the earthquakes. They originate seven kilometers deep within the ground. As you can see, that is deep within the ground. The pressure is looking for ways to be released, which is why we see these cracks in the ground. But this is not to say that it will cause a wide recognizable split within the town. The hot pressured air searches for weak spots in the ground to escape and that is why we are seeing this. The splits will not be permanent or go much deeper. Experts say the timing of the earthquakes is unknown, but based on the experience of other earthquakes after the volcano eruptions, they found it to last no longer than two weeks. Umgari Jade, RTV News.